hey guys welcome back to mongodb tutorial in this video we will see a mongodb overview all right so we'll see what is a mongodb and how we can you know relate mongodb with the relational databases and we'll see the key components and architecture of mongodb and finally we will see the difference between mongodb and rdbms all right so first we'll see what is a mongodb so mongodb is a nosql cross platform document oriented database and it is one of the most popular databases available and mongodb is written in c++ all right so mongodb is one of the most uh, leading uh, nosql database right now and uh, we use mongodb to store high volume uh, data all right and uh, mongodb uses indexes so querying the mongodb documents is quite efficient and, and faster way all right so mongodb stores the data records as a bison format all right the bison is a binary representation of the json document and the document and the hierarchy in mongodb is like this so first we create a database in mongodb and we create a collections inside a database and collections uh, has a documents so documents we create inside a collections all right so look at here uh, the diagram here so how the rdbms can be mapped with the mongodb so look at here the rdbms has components like database tables rows and columns and mongodb has a components like database collections documents and fields so database uh, time terminology in mongodb is similar to a database in rdbms and collections in mongodb are equivalent to tables in a mongodb and documents in a mongodb are equivalent to you know rows in a rdbms and the fields in a mongodb are equivalent to columns in a rdbms so this is how we can uh, you know relate rdbms with a mongodb so let us see a simple example of mongodb so look at here this is the simple example how the document can be modeled in mongodb all right so look at here the underscore id field so this field is add uh, you know basically add by mongodb to uniquely identify the document in the collection so for example if there are multiple documents in a collection then we need to uniquely identify a document right so for that uh, mongodb will basically add this underscore id field to uniquely identify the document so this is typically a primary key for the document all right and look at the order data here so this uh, data in rdbms will you know normally stored in a separate table while in mongodb it is actually stored as an embedded document in a collection itself so this is one of the key differences uh, uh, in how data is modeled in mongodb all right so basically this is the data which we normally store in a table in rdbms but uh, in mongodb this is actually stored as an embedded document in collection itself all right so we'll see these examples a lot of examples uh, in a further topics so we'll see now we'll see some key components of mongodb architecture all right so look at here underscore id collection database document and field so these are the important components that you need to understand uh, whenever you use mongodb all right so underscore id so this field uh, required in every mongodb document okay the underscore id field represents a unique value in a mongodb document and underscore id field is like the document's primary key if you create a new document without underscore id field then mongodb will automatically create uh, you know underscore id field for the document and the collection so the collection is grouping of mongodb documents a collection is equivalent of a table which is created uh, in any other rdbms such as oracle mysql database or postgres all right so a collection exists within a single database okay so this is all about collection and the database so this is a container for collections like in rdbms uh, we use you know database as a containers for tables all right 
so each database gets its own set of files on the file system a mongodb server can store multiple databases a document is simply a recording of a mongodb collection is basically called as a document a document in turn uh, will consist of field name and value pairs okay so field is nothing but a name value pair in a document a document has zero or more fields so fields are uh, you know similar to columns in relational databases so these are the few components you need to remember while using mongodb so underscore id collection database document and field all right